Ah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Lumberjack. It's going to be a, a, I'm going to give you a five, my five word response to Nintendo's content creator program. As I have spent the last hour or two looking over the whole thing, thinking about it, and I'm going to sum it up, sum up my feelings with it in five words. And they all, all right, you ready? It's shit. Don't use it. Okay. That's my five word take on Nintendo's creators program. It's shit. Don't use it. I, I I mean, it's just because the reality of the situation is is that regardless of what you're going to get from Nintendo, let's say you put a video up and it, and it earns $150. Okay, well, by the time that money gets would get to Nintendo for them to take their portion of the revenue out of it Google yes that's right Google and YouTube have already taken $75 off the table yes that's right folks Bef I, if you have a video that's $150 off the table before it gets to either you or your MCN, if you're in one, before it gets to you or your network, YouTube and Google have already taken 50%. So, so off right off the table, you've lost $75. No, I, and I, I'm not kidding. YouTube. YouTube takes anywhere from 45% to 55% of the revenue of every video before that revenue gets to your MCN or the content creator themselves. So that's, that means that you're left with $75. Now, if you just partnered your uh, video and not the channel, so let's see. 10% of $75 would be $750, another 10%, $15, another, so right, if, if Nintendo's taking a 40% cut of that revenue, you've lost $30. So, out of the original $150, by the time it gets to you, You've lost a hundred and five dollars. Okay. Now, if you had only partnered your channel with YouTube, with if you partnered your channel with Nintendo, then you'd get an extra seven fifty back. But still. At that point, you're only getting $52.50. You, you, you see why? This is why I'm telling you guys. the Nintendo's program is shit. And do not use it. Okay. Because most people don't realize the reality of the situation. And that's it. Is for every YouTube video uploaded that generates ad revenue. You automatically lose at minimum 45% of the revenue. Because that's quote. YouTube's share. And that. And, and here's the problem. That. That percentage that's taken by Google and YouTube, non-negotiable. It's non-negotiable. It, 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 it is 
automatically taken off the top regardless. Whether you, whether you are a YouTube partner in an NCM, it doesn't matter. The 50% of the revenue is automatically taken by Google. Which is why when you get down to it, you're getting a 60% share on videos. You're, you're losing 40% of whatever is left. If you partner the channel, you're losing 30% of whatever is left. You see, that is why this, that is why this program is shit. And on top of that, Nintendo won't allow you to upload Nintendo. <laughs> I mean, seriously, they won't allow you to upload Nintendo. In order to add, to upload Nintendo stuff with this program, you actually have to look at a list of quote unquote approved Nintendo titles. I'm not kidding about that. Nintendo actually has a list of approved titles that you can upload with this program. And if you don't up, and if you want to do videos that aren't approved with this program, yeah, you're you're out of luck, and not only that, but forget forgetting the the, the shitty revenue sharing. Uh, here's here's to me what is the biggest fuck up in this program. It can take up to seventy two hours. For your content to be reviewed and finalized. So let's say um let's let's say you wanna start start doing a series on the newest Legend of Zelda game that came out. And you want to have your footage uploaded so that it so that it goes and is ready to go live. At 12 and 1 a.m. the day of release. Well, if you're partnered with this program, but there and Nintendo puts an embargo on videos for this game, and then they have to be reviewed by Nintendo, which could take three days. By the time the video would actually go live. The game's been out for three days, and while that, well, you, while well, you're saying, well, what's the big deal? So the video goes up three days late. The problem is, and this is a major flaw of both YouTube and the internet, is that day one traffic. If you miss out on day one traffic, you might as well not even bother with the piece of content because day one traffic versus day two traffic, in most cases, day two traffic for a piece of content goes down by as much as 85% from day one traffic. And if you're releasing, and if you're having a video that has to be finalized through Nintendo, and it takes three days for that piece to get released, and you want to do a whole series, I mean, I mean, think about it. You shoot, let's say I do a recording session of a Nintendo game, and it's an approved one. I do four videos. And I want them all to be uploaded at the same time. But if they've got to be reviewed and it takes 72 hours, 70, up to 72 hours, those videos could be going up whenever Nintendo would feel like finalizing them. And that, to me, is the biggest problem with this program. Is not Not only is it Nintendo dictating what titles can be uploaded, but 
if you are enforcing a waiting period on those videos getting published, the, I, I, I'm sorry, folks. There is nothing that nothing hurts a content creator's revenue more than missing out on release date traffic because. There are a lot of YouTubers out there that I've heard in, and they've talked about it in blog posts and vlogs or whatever you want to call it, how just by having a video problem and having to really put, put a video up for a new game the day after it's out versus the day it's out, and the difference in views and traffic and comments by not having it on release day, it, it is just it is so hard to fathom how much of a difference it makes having your content up on re, on release day. And that to me is why I say that the that Nintendo's content creators program is absolute shit. Because if you're making people wait on a video so while you're while you're reviewing and finalizing it, and the, and, and and taking the release date versus second day gone down the side, if your video isn't approved to be published, just the traffic alone. And the views that you're missing out on because you can't publish a video because it has to be finalized is it more and more it's I just you know you know you know what Nintendo you've got to get your fucking act together I I mean it's it's shit like this is why you lost your title as king of the video game industry. And and while I'm while I'm talking about Nintendo, I also want to mention um the sales numbers for the Wii U came out. I don't have them in front of me at the moment, but it should come as no surprise to anybody that the Wii U sold poorly in the last quarter. Poorly. In fact, the lifetime sales numbers had just topped 9.4 million, I think. It was either 9.3 or 9.4. And um, it's January, it's January, February, that January, end of January, beginning of February area of 2015. Nintendo's original productions for having 9 million Wii sold was March 30th, I believe of, what was it, 2013? It was either March 30th of 2012 or March 30th of 2013. And it's just, this is just more evidence of the fact that, and this is something that's been going around the internet that I'm, I'm starting to get on board with, that it's time, I really think it's time that either somebody does a hostile takeover of Nintendo, or Nintendo's investors finally realize that Satoru Iwata and the current senior leadership in Nintendo need to be shown the fucking door. Because for there is just no other way to put it. The content creators program is is absolute shit. The, the Wii U has been I I, I I mean molasses is moving faster than Wii U sales. <coughs> <clears throat> and, 
And on top of that, the marketing for the... And this is the biggest fuck up. The marketing for the Wii U is... Uh, for all purposes, non-existent. I, I, bar I rarely, if ever, see any, any commercials for the Wii U. So, I mean, I, I mean you know, it's just... It's just... Nintendo, what are you doing? I mean, really, Nintendo, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, I just... I just... I said before, and I'll say it again. The senior leadership, inclu including Iwata, need to be shown the door. It's time for new blood at, at the top of Nintendo. Because... It's just... Nintendo is just going downhill r real fast. This is, you know... I, this is a... This is a corporation, ladies and gentlemen, that self-destructs a spiral. Yeah. Alright. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's been my thoughts on Nintendo's creator program and Nintendo in general. I am the Lumberjack. Hopefully you've been you. Try to behave yourselves. I'm first. And as always, I will see you next time.